Hello and welcome to the session of DDR Controller Overview Part 2 of 4 brought to you by Intuitive Classes. In this session we will cover the initialization sequence of the DDR controller. What is the initialization sequence? In short, initialization sequence is what programs the DDR device, memory device, to know what modes it will use, example the cast latencies, the on die termination settings, and so on. The initialization sequence requires that the voltage rails and the clocks be at their stable values. To ensure this, a 200 microsecond time window has to elapse after the reset has been taken away before the initialization sequence is initiated. The controller then performs a series of commands for the configuration of the whole DRAM. It starts with the pre-charge command followed by three extended mode register sequences. At cycle TF0, the load mode register command performs a DLL reset to the memory chips. Following that, a pre-charge command and two refresh commands are provided on the command bus. In cycle TJ0, the DLL reset is removed and all other bits of the mode registers are set to the appropriate value. This TJ0 in a sense sets the device to its appropriate settings. Following that, optionally, the extended mode registers can do the on-chip calibration. And then following all these commands, the DRAM is available for access. This slide is about the mode register. And the mode register contains the various settings for the DRAM, the most important being the cast latency, but there are a whole slew of other features that may be enabled and set appropriately like termination values, DQS types. The important register to keep in mind, the important bits to keep in mind are E15 and E14 which can address the mode register, the extended mode register, the extended mode register 2 and 3. Please consult your memory device datasheet to configure your DRAMs appropriately. This concludes the section 2 of DRAM controller overview. I hope you enjoyed this recording. Please visit our website at intuitiveclasses.info and leave us a feedback. Thank you.